Hi, it's Elizabeth. I hope you're well. Um, here I am with another video where I'm looking at my makeup and going, I did not too bad a job today. Hey! Uh, small wins. Today I'm going to speak about leapfrogging. I'm not actually going to get anybody in leapfrog over them and I'm not expecting you to either. But what I what I mean by that is when you're in a place when you want to improve something to do with your health and wellness and you start grabbing for things in the hope that that's going to be the magic solution. I'm going to try kettlebells. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try this supplement. I'm going to go back to kettlebells again because I really enjoyed it. And you find that you're in a, a cyclone almost of spinning around trying all these different things and nothing's actually making a difference for you because you can't keep it up. Uh, I mentioned kettlebells there, right? No offence to anybody that does kettlebells because I do actually really enjoy them. It was just one of the first things that popped into my head and it's something that I have found myself leapfrogging to every now and again, um, along with other things that people can get up to. So my experience just before Christmas was... I got sucked into an advertising campaign that was pretty much aimed at women like me, menopausal, wanting to lose weight, want to change their health. Now, I'm not going to name the company because that's not fair because loads of other people sell the same brand that they do. But there was a post on Instagram where they posted a video that was quite obviously a testimonial from a woman saying, I can't do without this product. It's brilliant. And I asked the company, why can't this woman do without this product? What's it doing that's so great? And they privately answered me saying that it could help you with your hormones. It could help you burn fat faster. And I thought, oh, okay, that's appealing to me. Um, now I tried this stuff before, it's called MCT oil, medium, chain triglycerides blah, 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 blah. that's a mouthful isn't it medium chain triglycer blah, 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 triglycerides right so i tried mct oil before because i got sucked in to this it can help you metabolize carbohydrates and help you lose weight and kickstart your metabolism i fell into that trap before i tried it it made me feel really nauseous so i thought Maybe it's just that brand I chose. Let's try this one. So I did and I ordered a bundle with other stuff and it came with a hot chocolate that's got collagen in it, which is a bit delicious. It also came with collagen powder that I still put in my cereal, etc. Um, have I noticed any difference from using that? Well, no, because it's only just been over a month. But what I did do was miss out my favourite meal of the day, which is breakfast. And I made what they call a bullet coffee, as per their advice. So that's what I did. I made a bullet coffee every morning. It was coffee. It was um, a big knob of butter. I know. Um, the MCT oil. Uh, something else I can't remember. Oh, the collagen. Whacked it in a blender. And that was my breakfast. And that was me until lunchtime. And I thought, this is bound to make a difference. It's bound to make a difference. I'm on the run up to before Christmas because this was a Black Friday that started incredibly early deal. And I went for it. And let me tell you, it did nothing for me. I got to Christmas Day thinking, health cake before Christmas. I'm doing all this right. I'm counting all my calories, etc., etc. And then I actually looked up the calorie content of an MCT coffee and I was like, that is a lot. I think it was about just 250 calories just for a coffee with this MCT oil in it. Now, I was tracking um, and it did put my uh, fat intake, healthy fats it's supposed to be classed as, up to about 40%. So it met the goals with that if I was trying to be ketogenic, which I... I'm not because I no, it's not sustainable, not for me. Um, and it just did nothing for me. So what I'm saying is just be aware of being pulled in by all these fabulous advertising products that you hear people talking about 
or companies promoting. I spoke about this in a fabulous menopause group through uh, the menopause school that I'm a member of. And we were all talking about how as women we can feel targeted, uh, you know, buy this multivitamin, by the way, it's 80 pounds a month. You know, do this regime, it doesn't really work, but we'll say it does. Buy this menopause skincare that's been approved by some dermatologist. It's basically suntan lotion, but don't tell anyone. So, yeah, mine was mine was going down this MCT rabbit hole. And I was like, well, you know what? It just doesn't work for me. But really, really do your research about what things you react well to. And I don't react to being made, made to feel nauseous by taking any supplement. Because menopause comes with nausea anyway. The hot sweats for me a couple of years ago were coming on with nausea. That was a new surprise symptom for me that... That crept up so we've all had to get in shape at some point and go god I really need to rein it in and I think I've mentioned in a previous video that I did honestly think I was going to turn into a quality street at one point over Christmas oops um but I have been doing a new regime I will share my results at the end of the month I won't tell you about it just now and what I'm doing I'll save it for finding out it's actually worked and I'll tell you what I did then. But just be aware of getting pulled in by all these advertising campaigns that goes, oh, that appeals to me because that means the advertising's working, which is great for the company, but it's just a bit of a mm, dull thud when you've once again wasted 40 quid, that was how much it cost, uh, on products that promised to be the answer to your dreams and they did nothing absolutely nothing for me anyway but make me feel sick and then I started looking at other people who use MCT oil but the other people that I found out who are using MCT oil who are quite well known in health and wellness etc 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 a they've probably got their own MCT oil brand b they're pairing it up with living in Ibiza or other lovely hot countries um where you're not trying to keep padded to keep warm that's just a that's just me being cheeky uh because it is cold in scotland it's minus two just now and nearly coming up for three o'clock in the afternoon oof anyway you know and these people are living in different climates uh which i do think plays a big part and also doing iv drips with vitamins however often it is they need to do it or want to do it rather they're also visiting cryogenic chambers and things like that you know so it's not real world I don't think so um so yeah just notice what you notice and watch out for what you're getting reined into but with regards to missing out on my favorite meal every day for a month and the scale's not shifting one bit not one ounce nada niente nothing um it's a no from me so if you've ever had to get in shape for something before so for me my parents diamond diamond wedding anniversary is coming up at the end of april I want to feel a little bit better than I do now. I mean, I feel great about myself mental health wise, but there's some really nice dresses in my wardrobe that I'm struggling to get over my backside at the moment. And I'd like that to change. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm, I'm getting in shape for that, but I'm also doing it for me to feel better about myself, watch my mental health as well as my physical health and make sure that I don't get to a stage where all of a sudden my weight has crept up which it has over the last year um i'll share my befores and afters results and whatever it is uh with you at the end of the month but i will tell you this so far in a week i've lost five pounds and i'm not doing anything that you don't know about think back to a time when you've had to really get in shape for something and whatever that was just go back to it and that's what I've done. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. As I say, when I'm speaking, I'm just going blur and speaking. And sometimes I can go a little bit off piste, but I try and keep on topic. So if you've got any questions about anything that I've spoken about in this video, then please do message because I love the engagement. It's marvellous. Hit subscribe. Ta-da! And... Um, 
as I say, just watch what you're getting pulled into and that it's not something that I think is unsustainable. Have a great day. Bye.